<sighs> There's a familiarity to the scent in the air and the firmness beneath my feet. Hmm. Now, time for a change of pace. Where should we go? To the library! Is this the marketplace? It's a far cry from how I remember it. Huh. The stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's... the Shogun! What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? The Almighty Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit! Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low-profile return later? Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. Uh, never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Hey, are you saying you don't have any Mora either? Of course I don't. There is no need for commerce in the plane of Euthymia. If I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? Anyway, people seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. Uh, people aren't exactly gonna let their hair down in front of the almighty Shogun. Hmm, what is this stall selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Shogun, I, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. It's all right. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk, and so on. Huh? Milk? Sounds kind of like the odd one out. It might sound odd, but it is, in fact, my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste but also the unique texture. Oh, dango with milk. Hmm, I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by dango and milk? Huh. Why do I feel like... She's different than I expected. Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had used for. 
My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. And both Dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm, interesting. May I try this drink? The Almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, well certainly. And you two should try it too. Hmm. Nice. It's sweet. <laughs> the sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <gasps> a unique beverage, indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... Uh, porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. I'm very glad you approve. I imagine that an item as delicious as this Dongo milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. I'm not saying the Almighty Shogun has unusual tastes. Please, don't take it the wrong way. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that can be fixed. I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. No, 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 Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dongo milk. I... Uh... <laughs> of course. I've heard that most humans like desserts, so it's not unusual that I should enjoy them too. Miko agrees with me on this. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way... Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novels. She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Sure! Let's go and have a look! Shogun! O Almighty Shogun! What brings you to the Yai Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. A apologies. I, I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management? Or publishing regulations? Or fire safety measures? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The Almighty Shogun wishes to... Read light novels? Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public, and the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the almighty Shogun's taste. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? In principle, you're absolutely right. It's just... It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Well... Okay, then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. This novel is amazing, competition. I have just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um, don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Okay, let's go then. Huh. 
Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles, so why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. It's so long! Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device! Narrative device. So it's... made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Churls can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, Paimon's starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you the scoop. Alright then. I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. Alright, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. This could be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against. With a premise like this, it's no wonder Kuroda was nervous about letting A look around. Uh, Paimon thinks it might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch of stuff this Paimon would never do, Paimon would feel really uncomfortable. can tell this girl has loved the main character with all her heart since childhood. Right! Yeah, it's just a novel. But please let the author have a heart, please! The plot is really gripping. But would A really understand this kind of mortal romance? What a strange person. Why would someone want to be a novelist that badly? Someone like that could easily become the top martial arts pro in the world! 
You do have a point. And a character so determined to follow their ambition is likely to appeal to A, right? That's all of them. Let's try to explain them to A. The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. Goodness. Are people in Liyue really so complex these days? Even though the protagonist refuses to acknowledge his innate talents, he has a rare dedication to justice. Where is he now? Does he have plans to visit Inazuma? If so, I will instruct one of the commissioners to bring him to me on his arrival. I would very much like to spar with him. Uh, he's a fictional character. He doesn't exist. What about the antagonist, though? Don't you have any thoughts about their part in the story? The antagonists? You mean all the people who behaved foolishly? What can I say? They're bad people, and they all got what they deserved. End of story. Uh... A doesn't seem interested in the supporting characters at all. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euthymia, there was no Yai Publishing House, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes, and I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out, to take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Sure, it's not the same as you remember, but one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change, but I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. Ooh, great idea! A's had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it! Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay! Come with us! We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean! So, uh, what are we supposed to be doing? We're taking a photo of you! Just leave the hard work to us! All you need to do is stand over there and strike a pose! Basically, a photo makes a visual record of you at this very moment in time, so it makes a great souvenir! Okay, so what exactly is striking a pose? Ah, I see. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable action in front of you, right? Uh, the more I think about it, the more embarrassing it seems. How should I pose? Help me out here. It should look good, but not too over the top. 
This isn't coming naturally to me at all. Casual. Uh, how about this? This feels quite natural. Okay, let's get started. Let's pick a good angle to record this moment from. So a photo is a visual representation, an impression, like casting a shadow. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm learning a lot today. Let's get this underway. Is it some kind of magic? It seems to be... another copy of me. But she doesn't seem to be able to move or talk. I thought it would turn out poorly because I felt rather rigid. But it actually looks more natural than I imagined. The pose is exactly the same, and so is the scenery in the background. I can't imagine how it's achieved. That's what makes it so special! Hang on. I'm still struggling to understand this. I need you to explain it again. So, the one in this photo... Are you sure it isn't me? If it's not me, then why does she look exactly like me? And if she is me, then... Who am I? Okay, that's way above Paimon's head. Over to you, Traveler! Hey, that's right! Do you think the Shogun counts as you? Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you, here and now? Well, I'm still me. There is no doubt about that. My existence? Hmm... Ah. I think I understand. I am me. There is only one of me. But I can exist in many different forms. It's not important what form I exist in. The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of her components. In that case, this picture is one of your forms of existence, too! Hmm... So even I, who seeks eternity, am constantly changing my form of existence. Then, how can I ask Inazuma and everyone who lives here to remain unchanging? Everything I have encountered on this journey with you has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. <sighs> You've seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Maybe you can't tell, but all this has challenged my understanding of things. Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma is a completely different place from the one I remember. But it would be incorrect to conclude from this that the Inazuma of today is no longer Inazuma. Both the Vision Hunt Decree and the statue of the Omnipresent God were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none of this ever would have happened. Hmm. Perhaps... Perhaps I've been holding on to everything too tightly. Sounds to Paimon like Ace figured things out! And that means that we've done a really great job as her guides! Master Kamaji! Master Kamaji! Hmm, why is it getting so noisy down there? Oh, that sounded like Ipe! What could be the matter? 
Felipe. Is that someone from the Tenryo Commission? Yep, let's find out what's going on. Ah, it's you. I... Huh? The... The Almighty Shogun? You must be looking for my master, Kujo Kamaji? I, I am very sorry, he's not here at the moment. But, but if it pleases you, I will gladly deliver a message on your behalf. It's okay. I'm not here to see him. We just heard you calling out, so we came to see what was going on. Yes. Master Kamaji still hasn't returned from the negotiations, and I'm starting to get worried. In fairness, he does have a habit of taking long walks and coming back late. It's perfectly possible that he just found somewhere he likes and lost track of time. But for some reason, today, I'm particularly nervous. Kujo Kamaji. A descendant of the Kujo clan, I presume. That's right. Uh, apologies, since the head of the clan is in poor health at the moment, and Master Masahito is rarely home, Master Kamaji is currently serving as representative of the Kujo clan. I have heard that things are quite tumultuous with the Tenryo Commission at present. Does this have anything to do with Kujo Kamaji? Forgive us, Almighty Shogun. The Kujo clan has failed in its duty. The Kujo clan's reputation is damaged, and its power over the Tenryo Commission is in decline. Plus you, um... <clears throat> You have yet to issue a verdict on the Commission's future. So, Master Kamaji decided to enter negotiations with the Takatsukasa clan with a view of having them take over. Surely they would be discussing something like that at their headquarters, right? Why are you looking for them here? Actually, they decided to hold this one elsewhere. I'm a little confused as to why, to be honest, but I didn't feel it was my place to question the higher-ups. The meeting place is in the mountains near the Grand Narokami Shrine. I believe the Takatsukasa clan have some kind of base there. Takatsukasa? Another familiar name. They have been faithfully serving the Kujo clan all these years? Yes, yes, that's why Master Kamaji decided to discuss things with them. I understand they must have had a lot of ground to cover, but still, there's no way it should have gone on this long. I've searched all over the city. If he really hasn't returned yet, then... Yeah, I thought of that possibility too. But someone of my rank can't just go venturing into Takatsukasa clan territory like that. No, no need. I'm probably just overthinking things. Besides, if they're still at it, they'll only blame me for interrupting the negotiations. I'm only a lowly servant, but Master Kamaji and I grew up together. It'd be terrible if anything ever happened to him. I'm not as smart as Master, so I can't really share his burdens. But the last thing I'd want would be for him to come to harm when I could have done something about it. Hmm. What do you think, Almighty Shogun? Let's go see what's happening. With me present, they are unlikely to blame you, even if we do happen to interrupt the negotiations. Besides, this has only come about because I failed to make a timely decision. This issue started with me, and I shall be the one to finish it. Thank you so much, Shogun. I'll keep looking around in the meantime, too. Let me mark out the location of the base for you. I hope everything goes smoothly. <laughs> 